A friend of ours out in 21 country has learned all about the lives her parents lived decades before she was born. It's a story of sacrifice and war and patriotism, and it's the greatest gift our friend says she's ever received. Mm. Eric Olson reports. Ellen England's parents have been gone for many years, but they still talk to her whenever she wants to listen. Bill and Mary, they didn't have to do what they did, but they felt compelled to do, and they did it for the greater good. In 1942, two months after Pearl Harbor, Bill Husselman, an attorney and Auburn High School grad, joined the Army and shipped overseas to fight the Germans. A year later, Mary Brandon, another Auburn High grad, joined the Red Cross and also shipped overseas. Until war's end, Bill and Mary wrote to their parents back in Auburn. Dozens of letters, 400 in fact, telling their folks about their daily lives and duties, about the horrors of war they witness, and about how very much they miss home. But we're able to hear how a man is experiencing the war and how a female is experiencing the war within the exact time, same time frame. Ellen England has collaborated with Auburn author Barbara Olenek Morrow to produce the latest of Morrow's many books, Army Guy, Red Cross Gal. An intimate look at those letters and the two young patriots who wrote them. Bill would serve as a military policeman, joining Patton's Third Army as it marched across Europe. He's an insightful observer of war's cost. He writes home as he marches through Germany. This country is beat up worse than anything I've ever seen, he says. Many towns are just a heap of rubble. Well, they asked for it, and they're getting it. At the same time, Mary Brandon is caring for wounded GIs at an R&R &R facility in Italy. She meets a badly frostbitten soldier who was a concert pianist before the war. With a little coaxing, he came to the piano, she writes. He played Brahms and Bach so beautifully, even with his still black hands. Gosh, it hurts to see boys like that. Though Bill and Mary went to the same high school, they didn't know each other, but they met up after the war, fell in love, married, and had a family. Ellen England knew little about her parents' war service until she read their letters. It was such a gift to get to know them as, you know, adults who didn't have children, just getting to know them as real people. They valued freedom and democracy, and it's a reminder that we ought not to take it to gr for granted. The torch has been passed to the next generation, and we're going to find different crises in our own times, and we need to step forward as well. Eric Olson reporting out in 21 Country.